Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss control structure and uh, first part of that that is selection statements in PLSQL. Just like in any other programming language, PLSQL also has a very rich, has a very rich control structure and using control structure you can, uh, you know, control the flow of the execution. As you see on the screen. As you see on the screen, control structure in PLSQL, it typically controls the flow of the execution and it has two parts that is uh, selection statement as well as iteration statement. And in this session, we are going to discuss selection statement out of that. PLSQL has a few types of, uh, you know, selection statements. Selection statements, you know, choose uh, between one or more uh, available options and there are if then, if then else, multi branch if, nested if and case statement. Uh, now, let us study these uh, all these types one by one. First of all, if then, if then typically has a boolean expression, if boolean expression that means a condition that evaluates only to true or false. So, if boolean expression then uh, followed by statements and as uh, in case of any other uh, kind of block in PLSQL, if begins with if and ends with end if, same is the case of loop, case, right, all those, uh, you know, blocks in PLSQL program, uh, you know, you begin a block, uh, you must also end the block with end and that particular block type like if begins with if and ends with end if, case begins with case, ends with end case. So, here if boolean expression then statements end if. So, let us try this uh, using, so you can see on the screen, uh, here my program is, you know, I have declared two variables num1 and num1 and num2. If num1 is less than num2, then you know the DUP statement that is num1 is less than num2 will be printed and is you can see on the screen the output 10 is less than 20. Similarly, if I uh, you know check the if I change the values here instead of num1 as 10 and num2 as 20, I change their values and then you could see there will not be any output because the boolean condition is false. So, typically in if then uh, statement, if the boolean condition is true, then the statement is executed and if the condition is not true, then nothing happens in that particular program for that particular block. Okay. In real time, uh, these expressions are a little less used. Compared to them, the next one is if then else. This if then else, uh, wherein you have got a boolean expression if boolean expression then statements, else another set of statements. So, here if the condition is true, the first set of statements are executed and if the condition is not true, then the second set of, uh, se second set of statements are executed. Here, uh, both the ways like if condition is true first and if condition is not true then second. So, unlike the previous one if then in if then else at least one statement is out of the two is uh, definitely executed. Let us try this. So, here you can see on the screen I have written this program wherein there are two variables num1 and num2 and here is the boolean condition if num1 is less than num2, then the statement num1 is less than num2 will be printed, else otherwise the second statement will be printed. I execute this program and as you can see the output on the screen, the first statement is being executed because 
the first condition the boolean expression is true if i change the values of these you know variables for example instead of num1 as 10 i make it 20 and num2 i make it 10 in this case the second statement uh, will be executed similarly you also have a multi branch if wherein multiple boolean expressions can be given and uh, whichever condition is true out of the given expressions that particular statement is you know executed as the syntax you can see on the screen if boolean expression 1 then statements if uh, else if boolean expressions 2 then statements like this and optionally you also have else part here else statements another thing here with else if as many boolean expressions so many times you must write end if in the program so here you can see i have a small you know example here uh, here uh, this program is related to uh, getting grades based on marks so i uh, given above 80 above 60 above 40 uh, kinds of grades a b c d grades and the sample marks are given here are uh, 75 if marks are above 80 then a grade if marks are above 60 then b grade and if marks are above 40 then c grade these are the three conditions are given here and as you can see on the screen with 75 marks the grade is b here using multi branch if you can uh, you know handle multiple conditions apart from that you also have a shortcut to this multi branch if using else if you must write as many boolean expressions so many end ifs there is a shortcut to this wherein you do not need to write down else space if else if instead of that you have a shortcut else if one single word here as many uh, like whatever number of boolean expressions you give you only to, you only need to write down only one end if in the end so let us try this using the same example as you can see on the screen now the code is little short now and we have only one end if in the end and you get the same output so the difference between else if and the shortcut else if is that you only need to write down one end if in the end when you use else if both these uh, work in the same way functionality is same both of them are called as uh, multi branch if the only difference is the length of the code okay so in real time you Okay, you can always prefer else if in addition to multi branch if you also got nested if wherein uh, you can have one if else block within uh, a part of if and else block so as you can see the syntax on the screen you have a boolean expression and within the body of that particular expression you have another set of if else so this is one outer if else and this is one inner if else here i have shown only two uh, you know levels of nested if but multiple levels also are possible here this can be typically used when you make a selection and after selecting one point you go for another selection for example uh, say you want to select prepaid or postpaid and once you select prepaid you have a choice to select the type of service uh, available in prepaid at the same time if you select postpaid you have a chance to select uh, the type of service which is you know available in postpaid as well following to this you have case expression case expression is very similar to multi branch if but the syntax is slightly different in case expression you have a very straightforward syntax as you can see on the screen case uh, followed by some expression any expression that will you know uh, evaluate to any one value and following to that when value 1 then statement 1 when value 2 then statement 2 
uh, like this when value 3 statement three, you can have so many values followed by statements and optionally in the end you can also have else statement uh, which provides uh, the default statement if none of the values are if none of the you know given values uh, become true this also as i told you is followed by end case so, let us try this uh, with an example. As you can see on the screen, here I have written a small program uh, wherein I am taking a character and based on that character, uh, I am going to provide uh, a praising adjective for the user. Uh, as of now, I have taken only A, B, C, D, but we can extend this program up to Z as well. Assume the user enters A then he will get the output attractive. If the user enters B, he will get the attractive, uh, you know, beautiful. If the user enters C, he will get the output as charming, uh, followed by if the user enters D, he will get the output as dashing. So, I run this program. Here, at first I enter A and the output is attractive. <coughs> I enter B, the output is beautiful. Similarly, I enter uh, C, the output is charming like this. If I enter any other character, for example, P, then the output will be the default output. So, case expression typically works like this and this is, uh, you know, the last uh, selection statement in PL SQL. So, the selection statements that we have studied till now if then, if then else, multi branch if, nested if and case statement. This is one part of control structure. Another part of control structure that is decision making, uh, I mean that is iterative statements we shall see in the next session. Thanks for watching video. If you have got any questions, please write them in the comment and to watch more such videos, please visit Naresh IT on YouTube.